right, all right, all right. Look what I've been doing. I'm getting ready for another soap. Which one is real and which one is made out of soap? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? I'm sure you could. So that's real Native American pottery. Pottery shard. And there's my soap shards. Let's see. How can I make this more visible? I just don't want to be very visible. Let's see. Pottery shards. That's real. Okay. So all the ones on the bottom are soap. And the one on top is real. That's what I mimicked it out of or after. So this one is that one. Just I got to put it on top of the soap. It can only be like a little over an inch. So these two is this one, which is the only arrowhead I've actually ever found. I'm so proud of it. I made two of those. This one is soap. This one is real. Soap real soap real soap real soap real soap real how cool is that so i'm going to put these on top so each bar of soap will have an arrowhead and a pottery shard on top and then look at those arrowheads y'all this is where i stole them from so i'm gonna do soap i think i'm gonna call it Wende yahoo which is like the cherokee woman's uh morning song it's supposed to only be sung by women i think so that's like all that i've been thinking of all day was that so i think i'm ready now that i got my soap arrowheads made it turned out so good Pretty, pretty proud. Or pleased, I guess I should say. So I take activated charcoal and I take Moroccan clay. And like after I make the soap, the arrowheads, I take the clays or the, the charcoal and then the clay. And I mix it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And you just take your paintbrush and you just rub it over top of it and then you kind of wipe it off and it gives it the detail you know it gives it fills in the low spots you know and gives it detail so before it just kind of looked a little bit less 3d and then it makes it look a little more 3d so and i did the same thing for the pottery the pottery shards which only look okay if you didn't know what those were you'd be like what is that somebody chew chewing gum that was stuck on the bottom of somebody's shoe or something but and i found this like i said i've only found one arrowhead and i did not find that on my property but this i found on my property and it's definitely a piece of pottery you can see the grooves in it and it's native american Native American pottery always looks like this. Almost like they take, I think they take pine needles and make the pattern on it. That's what I've heard. Anyway. So, yeah. Wende Yahoo. Can't wait to make it now. I'll be showing that one next. Peace.